Welcome to your late afternoon, whatever comes out. So I do have the Tarot of the Awakened. We're going to start off this. Uh, yesterday, this was the tarot deck that we started with. So I'm going to shuffle three shuffles for Libra. What's going on in the environment? Can we get environmental cards for today's reading? It is January 31. It's hard to imagine that only 15, 16 days ago was Martin Luther King Day. So we are moving in this timeline quite quickly. Let's see what the whatever comes out produces. Good luck. It could be anything. It could be finances, love. It could be new love as well. And don't forget your pick a pile for tonight. You could watch it whenever you have time. Uh, let's see what it has in store for you today. All right, Tarot of the Awaken. Let's see what comes out. Um, let's just peek at what's at the bottom. We have the moon, which is Cancer and Pisces. The Three of Pentacles. What's being hidden is somebody wants to work with you at this current time. Let's start from that base point. Uh, can I see the cards for today or the high? I would say the highest cards for the day. Let's get that. It's a little finicky. Let's see what the highest cards are for today. King of Cups, our first court card. The King of Cups could be wanting to work, work with you. What I see is there's the same suit here in the reading. Okay, we have a king here and a moon sign. It's both essentially water. So their watery feelings could be heading towards privately working with you, you know, not expressing this clearly into the universe, but wanting to head in your direction. King of Cups would be the first court card. So let's see what else is coming out here. The Tower for January 31st. The Tower could be their emotions. I feel like the King of Cups could be either bringing you a Tower moment or they want involvement there. Eight of Wands, okay. What else in this whatever comes out do we need to know? Thank you. The Ace of Cups, there's a few. The Lovers, Ace of Pentacles. I'm sorry, did I say Ace of Cups? Ace of Pentacles and the Lovers, a loving offer, okay. I'm hearing here support, like a cup of love, support. Why is there, why are they coming in with an Eight of Wands? Eight of Cups, okay, because of their walking away. Um, Eight of Cups is the great walking away card. This might not be for everybody today. I'm hearing here just a specific instance. If you look at the Eight of Cups and the Three of Pentacles, it's somebody after walking away realize the value of working with you. Earth energy. Libra, you could have earth in your chart. Okay. Um, and don't forget your pick a pile is rather big today. King of Wands to the Hierophant. Could be a Taurus that you guys have been waiting to hear from, or this is somebody that's finally deciding to talk, okay? We have very swift energy, and then we have spiritual downloads too, is how I read this. Hierophant and the Eight of Wands to me is like you get an immediate download. There's a clarity about maybe um, how somebody worked out or the lack of somebody working with you in the past because their energy seems to be focused on this Three of Pentacles and the whatever comes out. It's like they wish they would have worked with you. They wish they would have realized the value of that. 333 was pointing through on the clock here. Um, also, it's so weird because the last few days, I don't know if you guys are getting those combos, but 333 and 444 are like superb. Right now, I feel like every Libra is kind of calling that out um, and saying that they've experienced it. So this King of Wands has placement and it's the second court card that's showing up. It's also the second king here today. Who's the king of wands? Can I see that king of wands, please? And their position to Libra. The star, oh my goodness, the star card. Somebody's realizing your potential a little too late in today's story. You're very healed. Uh, you're coming across as someone who's very vibrant. You could be experiencing a personal glow up or something is very different about you physically. What are their feelings towards this person? What's the King of Wands feeling? Messages. Eight of Wands again. You have two in the reading alone, which means like this person definitely needs to get it out or to speak with you very soon. That's two Eight of Wands. Your downloads are telling you though about how you should receive this. The Hierophant is your spirituality and also sometimes your higher self. So speaking to you on a very deep level. Is it about the tower? What's the connection to the tower then? Okay, the emperor. Could be another person in your story, Libras. You could have a second person here. It's not going to be for everybody. 
what I see is the emperor actually has better communication with you. It's something about a second person in this reading. The emperor is very different from the king of wands. There's two separate people in this reading. Who's the emperor then? Who Libra? Okay, four of cups sideways. Somebody still feels like they can fix this missed opportunity from the past. There's still time here to make it right with you. I think it's the emperor's previous fault with you. Okay, but because it is in 50%, there's still time to turn it around. Heading towards you, I think you're the star energy in the daily today. Can you show me Libra's thoughts? Can I see the Libra thoughts? This one wants to flip over. I'm going to take it and a couple more. The sun. You're having a overall good day. Okay, your thoughts are in balance. You could feel aligned or something is lining up for you. They definitely regret walking away from you in the Eight of Cups is what I have thus far. We are going to continue, though. We have more to see here. The King of Cups is coming in again, okay? So definitely an overflowing feeling. I think they're sad they walked away from you, okay? I don't think you had involvement here, or I don't think you stressed to walk away from this person. They're feeling the pain of the initial Eight of Cups, and this could have been months ago is what I see here. Okay, in the daily, what's the bigger message aside from the Hierophant? We have the Fool card. You could be forging ahead and making plans, okay? Like exciting plans in this Aries energy. Taking a risk. I think it's an exciting risk. What are they exactly doing here? What's the Fool card? The Fool card is the Ace of Swords. You're living in a different type of truth now where things are deepened, uh, broadened for some of you. You could be planning again, like I see travel. I see getting together with certain people who are more of your soul tribe. Um, and you seem to be in this sun energy, the Leo card that we have today. Is the tower like a person? Can I ask that? The Empress. The tower is happening because of this energy. If that makes sense, I want to leave it simple like that because your pick a pile had a resonance in a certain part of that story. So I just want to leave that as a surprise for today. But the tower is happening due to this Empress energy. Okay. It could be shaking up like what a few people are feeling, or it could be a truth coming to the Empress, is how I see that. And it's sudden as well. You could ex be experiencing something really specific on that end. Why is the Empress having the tower today? I feel like it is on a Taurus or Libra's end. Okay, because somebody was juggling in the recent past. Okay, not choosing options. I feel like they were busy. They had busy energy. Because for me, the Two of Pentacles is very occupied energy. Um, not deciding, again, if something else I'm getting. Does this person... Okay, the Two of Pentacles is connected to the Empress How? justice somebody is almost this is how i want to put it libras somebody is receiving karma from a past thing that they did to you okay and you might even be hearing about it in this tower energy that i'm picking up on it's really specific and different today um you're receiving justice because this is having to happen justice was a card we briefly saw yesterday too what's this justice card for the overall general read here today the wheel of fortune and the five of cups Okay, what I see here is um, it's almost coming in as like, forgive me for saying this, but it's coming in as someone's like backstabbing or mistakes heading toward you is changing the wheel of fortune. Their karma actually is being reverted back to them. For some reason, I think you're going to know what this speaks of. I think it talks about a very specific situation, how people had treated the empress. Um, they're receiving their karma in today's and today's date is what I want to say, the Wheel of Fortune. The game's changing. Things are changing. What's this Five of Cups, please? What's the surprising Five of Cups here? The Knight of Wands. It was sideways. It was like this. Sagittarius, Six of Swords is also healing. Someone doesn't feel right about it as well. Um, I think what's going on is they feel like you are chosen in a situation or they feel like you're enlightened. And what's going on is anything that they did in the past, they're feeling it in the Five of Cups currently. This card doesn't show up on a regular Monday through Friday kind of a day. So it's here for a reason. Uh, there's something in the back where 
it's giving me like a backstabbing from the past or something that was really wrong here that you did not deserve. How does this connect um, Five of Cups person to the Empress, please? How do I connect that in today's the Five of Cups? I told you, somebody really feels bad about it. There's something here that doesn't sit right with an individual. And that's how I want to put it. There's no better way to describe it, if that makes sense. It's a wrong from a long time ago, too. All right, let's cut the deck. Let's just see what's there. Queen of Pentacles, because you're giving five of swords the page of cups the death card need i say more but that's what i have so far um this person is going to express this type of card to you today okay a cup of love why there's a five of cups here is like um could have been a lie okay uh there's also like energies they knew they couldn't do it to you like you're not the person to have messed with because the tower is now arriving for this particular person i also am getting like judgment day type of energy i'm just going to check one more thing here you're the wrong person to mess with mm -hmm. i think you're like damn straight <laughs> that's what's going on here today it's somebody re receiving karma for something that they had done two five of cups please and that ace of cups clarification I just want to get two more out here. The Nine of Swords. Someone's been in this, so this is a cute card. If you've been watching some videos lately, that's some, I've seen that in a few, you know, that comes out really seldomly. And then we have another one, the Knight of Pentacles. Really slow in the past to work with you and actually understand your energy. Uh, they didn't give you a chance, okay? And I definitely feel like this is something that needed to come out today. Usually I wouldn't post this, this type of reading, but it's important. The Knight of Pentacles worked slow with you in the past. So that's how you're going to know the connection here. Is it somebody not like believing Libra or is there a connection here where uh, I feel like there's also a falling out that's coming through? What's the result of this with one card? We got one card too the eight of cups and it is upright i just held it in that way to catch it you'll know because this person walked away from you abruptly or they had no last words with you and it's a really specific message for today they are a very slow person from the past on this knight of pentacles um and they've been sleepless the last couple of weeks i'd go ahead and put weeks on this nine of swords if this is a betrayal that you felt Libras, and this is, you know, these are the types of readings a reader doesn't want to get, <laughs> but it came out. Um, their tower is immensely felt by something you've recently said or something that you've put out there. Maybe some of you have very vocally put out something. There is a type of five of cups that they're feeling in a doubled up sense, okay? And that's what I have for them. They are truly sorry for it because they messed with the wrong one. And that's what I'm getting is you weren't supposed to be the one who received the brunt of this. So you will know because this person is experiencing this or you've felt that the energy is coming at you in this way. Um, we might have to do a part two because this is extremely interesting. I've just gone over in a lot of time with the pick up pile. So um, I'm going to return after the day advances and I go get the kiddos. But for now, this is what I leave you with. This is the message uh, for Tuesday. I'm sorry, Wednesday. And I'll see you guys in a later video. I want to thank you for your time.